Hello there, and uh, welcome. This is a showcase of a world I've worked on for some time. Uh, it's a world I haven't touched in a while. Uh, it's actually the very first world I ever built within Neos VR. So a lot of it is basically... A lot of it's basically just sort of ideas I wanted to play with when I was you know, like, first getting into this game. Because, um, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of different mechanics, so I wanted to take advantage of those mechanics, or at least uh, a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not that complex. Um, but let's talk a little bit about it. Um, right now I'm hanging out in this rest area here in the world, so that's cool. Um, I've got this cool kitchen area. Uh, where it's basically just like, hey, uh, I guess if I'm living here, since the name of the world is CB's home, CB meaning me, as in CB Gog, or CB, just that people, my, people just call me CB usually, um, so that's why I called it that, but so it's just my nickname. Anyways, point is, uh, since this is, since this was like my home or whatever, I kind of wanted to make it like, oh, well, I'd want to, I'd want it to be a place that I'd want to live in. Now, would I actually want to live in a sort of spaceship in outer space that uh, is, like, between two different planets? Um, probably not, but <laughs> but uh, I thought it was cool. You know, it looks cool, so that's kind of a part of the whole, you know, it's... I'm new to Neos, I want it to, you know, have that vibe of, like, it's still a Neos world, it's a, it's a cool place that's not like somewhere you'd see in real life. Um, and a lot of the early sort of construction of this place was a lot of just me basically playing with the shape tools, and honestly, a lot of this place was just a learning process of actually playing with the tools within Neos, really. I mean, if, if it wasn't for, um, for those those tools and learning them I don't think it would be the same like if I already if for example if I went to create the same idea now I'd probably do it a lot differently just because I have more experience um, and I didn't you know I didn't sort of throw myself into the ringer of hey I'm learning how to do this and wouldn't it be cool if I did that for example uh, an area of the world is these this little area here where there's these houses and um, in Neos, there's a really fun mechanic that lets you scale yourself uh, up and down. Um, so I thought, well, let's take advantage of that and sort of build the world's sort of uh, premise around around that on some on some level. Like, let's take advantage of the fact that you can you can scale yourself. So um, I did sort of uh, sort of two major things worth mentioning, which is. That house area, like I said, where you kind of you, you shrink yourself down, you, you enter the grass. Uh, careful, careful about the mushrooms. <laughs> By the way, um, they, uh, they they can be a little, you know, poisonous and stuff. And you know, they might uh, well, they might give you a hand actually. Now that I say that, so maybe maybe do eat the mushrooms if you find them. Um, you know, because y you usually want to do drugs when you're in a in a virtual universe or whatever, right? Like that's that's generally that's generally what you yeah. It's gener that's and anyways. Um, so I wanted to take advantage of that. So I hid some stuff in those little houses, just some like fun little like oh you found it. There's some cool pictures in here. Um, I also hid some artwork around around the world as well that I made personally. Um, not all of it. I didn't make all of it, but uh, I did hide some artwork that I like um, and that I that I made personally. Um, <clears throat> also, there's an area where I kind of originally I wanted to make it kind of like a laboratory concept, but I didn't really flush it out that much. Um, it was just kind of like, oh, here's a table with some stuff on it, and uh, also a also like I had these little notes that I you know I shrunk down and I. I, at the time, was writing them by hand, um, just because I didn't know you could even you could even type text into Neos and use it that way. Didn't know that was a thing. 
if I did know that was a thing, I probably would have just used the text functionality, but in retrospect, maybe it's cooler that it's handwritten or something. I'd, it's kind of up to, it's kind of a subjective taste thing, um, but certainly, uh, you know, certainly, certainly one of those things where take it or leave it, you know, up to you. Anyways, uh, I, the, the notes were all about, like, the Pokeball and how there's a mechanic in this game that basically if you use the Pokeball, you can capture someone in it. And I, I basically I was just being goofy and kind of writing it as if though I was horrifically mortified by this, um, which, uh, you know, don't fucking use Pokeballs. It's kind of fucked up. What's wrong with you? What's, what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> You, you, you fuck, you know, you know who you are, I'm looking at you, you Pokeball using bastard, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> the, another fun thing is this, uh, this, this lift that, that I basically took from the Neos hub, which is, if you enter this lift, it's like a gravity lift, and it'll, it'll raise you from the lower level to the higher level, pretty cool, um, also, there is the lower level in general, which is kind of like where I would spend most of my time, probably, which is, you know, there's a computer chair and stuff like that, so I'd probably, you know, spend a lot of time at the computer, like, you know, like I do. Um, but, of course, there's this lounge area, which is supposed to be, you know, for just, like, chilling with peeps, you know, just hanging out with your friends or whatever. I uh, wanted an area for that. Um... But yeah, I wanted to. I basically was just trying to take advantage of the cool mechanics of scaling in Neos to. So I basically made a world where that's like you know the secrets are hidden if you you know you use your scaling mechanic and you find them. Um, but otherwise, it's just kind of a pleasant little space and it's nice. And uh, for a, for a long time, uh, I was building this. Since it was the first world, I spent a lot more time on it than it maybe looks like I did. Um, just because there was so much, like, trial and error. Like, oh, like, that looks terrible, and so delete that, and then make another thing. Oh, that's, you know, that wasn't good. Do that, you know. And I made this back in December of 2019, so that was basically when I first started getting into Neos. And basically, it's because of this world uh, I got into Neos so much. At least, uh, basically, it's because I worked on it, and I kind of started getting uh, hooked on just the fact that you could build stuff, like, in real time, and... I uh, really, really um, enjoyed that aspect of it. I thought it was, it's just so charming and um, that you can just build it in VR. And I, I, I guess that's because I come from, I, I played a lot of VR chat before Neos. And, you know, in VR chat, creatively speaking, you're not exactly, uh, you're not exactly, you don't exactly have too much control over uh, what, what, what you can do what you can make within VR chat. There's not a whole lot there other than maybe like markers or um, specific mechanics a specific world has. But yeah, so I was just really like charmed by that and found it really intriguing. And then before I knew it, I was interacting with people um, in Neo. So that kind of the social element sort of also kept me coming back. But um, anyways, so the, the music... The music choice I had for this place was basically, I was just, at the time, I was super into synthwave mixes. I mean, I still love synthwave mixes um, on YouTube and stuff like that, and I was just sort of jamming out to them every time I'd hop in. So I basically just kind of lived this vibe uh, when, I was, when I was making it. It was just really, you know, just like a very cohesive, immersive experience building this simple little world. Um, and yeah, so there's that. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else. We got the mirror as well, obviously. That's just kind of kind of par for the course for a VR world. Um, obviously, there's this little piano that was for decorative purposes. Um, there's also the also like all the sort of foliage and like the crystal trees, which I just you know was me messing around with materials um, and just realizing, oh, you can put a texture on anything. You can make anything with any texture. And I was like, well, what if the trees were made out of crystal? That'd be kind of cool, even though it kind of makes no sense from a nature biology perspective, you know, it's like, what's the, what's the point of that? But, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's pretty much everything I think, uh, about the world. If I miss stuff, 
Uh, I feel bad because I'm probably never going to talk about this world again in any capacity, but I guess if you have any questions or whatever, or if you want to check this world out, um, let me know and I will make it public. But uh, otherwise, I think I don't have it public. I actually don't remember if I do. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> But uh, if you're in Neos and you want to check it out, just let me know. I don't remember if it's public, so uh, if you do, feel free to tell me. Also, um, yeah, the, expect some more videos in the future of me talking about Neos Worlds because I'm making a video every day this month, so I'm going to do some more stuff with Neos, show people what I have been working on in here since I started playing, which... Uh, is a decent amount, actually. Um, I actually have a fair amount of stuff to show people, uh, to show you, uh, whoever you may be. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, feel free to, uh, you know, do all this stuff, like meet me in Neos if you want. I, I try to play when I can. Um, it's fun to do so. Sometimes I you know, keep to myself and build worlds like this. And sometimes I like to socialize and join other worlds and host my own and blah, blah, blah. It's a whole thing. Um, also, there's, you know, big, there's the streamy, streamy space stuff out in the distance. That's cool, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of there's, I'm just trying to think. Oh, of course you got the sleeping Kirby. Can't forget sleeping Kirby. Absolutely adorable. Uh, that's that's cool and um, hmm I don't know I don't know what else so uh, again thank you for watching have yourself a fantastic day night birthday holiday whatever time you may be experiencing this through your eyes your ears into your brain comprehending it bada bing bada boom I'm done see ya <laughs> peace out Fuck.